118. ZTRON. The people are called ZTRONS in the galaxy of ZTRONSONS. They make all kinds of furniture. People in story Ron Johnson ZTRON wish in manager. I got off the morning space bus and it was still dark here. Without the street lights it was so dark that I could not see anything. I walked to the Wisha Inn and the light was on and I went in and went up to the counter and said anyone here. A voice come out from the door behind the counter and said I will be right with you. I said okay. I looked around the place and it seemed like everything is in its place. Then the door comes open and young man said, how can I help you today? I said I am Jack Wish and what is your name? He said my name is Ron and how long do you plan to stay? About one or two days. Just as soon as I can get some ads for the paper and I am out of here. He said well you might get some maybe. I said how come? He said the sun is only up about four hours a day here. The rest of the time it is dark. We're at the southernmost part of the planet. You should see if you can get a place closer to the center of the world. Not much happens down here. I said I guess the one that set this up did not do much research. When they placed the Wisha in, he said for what was told to me this place is only place that could be bought at the time. Everything else was not for sale. So the bus station in the Wisha Inn are owned by the Wisha newspaper. I said okay then I guess this is the best place. Do you have much business here? We have once in a while we have someone stay but not very much. More and more business are moving in this area now and business has picked up some. Everyone is building around here now because most of the planet now is getting full so they are expanding in this area. So in time business should pick up a lot. I know the paper is read a lot here we deliver a lot of papers here every day. Just would like to have some news and jobs. I guess I am going to have to hire a news reporter for every planet and they can stay at the Wish in and what I want you to do is report on the reporter how he is working and getting ads and news. This way I have a way to check up on the reporter. Now if the one finds out you are doing this, you will have to say is what I am doing to you and walk off. You don't have to check on the person every day. Just once in a while to see if they're doing their job. I would really appreciate it. Ron said okay I can do that. No thing is to hire someone to get all the ads and news here. Ron said you will just have to put an ad in the paper. I said well that is a good idea and I will do that when I get back. Do you have cook or are you the one cooking too? We have a cook on call and if you want something I can call her. I said have her work all day okay so that way I can get some lunch and dinner. He said okay I will call her right now. As I was walking off he called the cook. I went up to my room and sat down and turned on the TV. News was on and it did not seem like much was going on here. The same old stuff that goes on everywhere else. There was a knock on the door and I went and opened it and there a woman was a holding a big tray of food and she said lunch is ready. I said thank you and I took the tray and she followed me into the room. She closed the door and I thought oh boy I am in trouble now. I sat down at the small table and she sat down in the other chair. She looked at me and said I hope you like what I fixed. I looked at it and said this is really good. I started eating and then she said would there be a full time job here. I really need something for work full time. I don't work much because I know there is not much business here. I said when I get things set up here you will be needed full time. She said what are the changes be? I am going to hire a newspaper office here and it will be in this room. So someone will live here and take care of all the news and ads and anything that has to do with the paper. So you will be needed to provide meals for the ones that will be working. So you will be needed for three meals a day, every day. 
So if you want you can find someone to help you out unless you want to work seven days a week. She looked at me and said I guess I will have to find someone else then too. If later on it gets busy I can call that person in to help out. And then work the weekends. Sounds good to me. Then she said okay then I guess that all I wanted today. I said if you want to work the rest of the day you can. I will want dinner later. I would like a backed fish sandwich with thick fries. She said okay, I can do that. Now I would like to know the pay scale here. I have what is in our database but I want to know what it is now. She told me and I said that is what is in our database. If you work 40 hours a week you can live on it at that much per hour. She said just about because I don't live very far from here. Do you have a family? She said I have a husband and a little girl. She is four. How long have you been working here? She said I have been working here part time now for four years. I said okay. I will talk to you later on about my idea after dinner. She okay and got up and left. I finished eating and called the office. I told Jane what was going on and she said I will get back to you. I hung up the phone and went down to the counter and asked him for a telephone book and he passed me one and said, starting to make some calls to some business. I said yes I am he said start with the S in the book they might want to place an ad in the paper. I said okay that will be a help. I went back up to my room and started to make calls and it seemed like everyone I talked to did not want to advertise in the paper. Maybe our ad prices are too high. When I talk to the next one I will say half price ads this week and then see if they will take add an ad in the paper. The next one I called took out a small ad and I guess it is a start. There was a knock on the door and I went and opened it and there she stood with a dinner tray. I said thank you and took the tray and she followed me into the room. I said I have not found out what I needed to know yet but if you want to come back in about an hour I will call down when I find out. She said okay and got up and left. I sat and ate watching TV. It was not very long when the phone rang and it was Jane and she said for what you want to do will work if they live there and give them a reduced pay for living there. But in turn they will really get a rise in pay because they will live there. The guy behind the counter can live here too and pay him less for living there. See if you can make some deals with them. Get on the computer and check to see if everything is done right and look for everything that has been scanned. I will and I think I will be on the bus in the morning that is if I can get everything taken care of tonight. She said love you hun and have fun. I said I will. I hung up the phone and went downstairs and went up to the counter and said I would like to see everyone that works here one at a time in about 20 minutes but I have to get on your computer first to check things out. He said okay everything should be in order. I said okay but I have to check anyway. I got into the newspaper program and after about 15 minutes it seemed like something was missing but just don't know what it is right now. I went into the program for all the help and hours worked. Nothing has been filled out. No one's names or anything. How was everyone getting paid? I have a guess they was getting paid out of the cash draw. That means that business is not as bad as it seems. Well now what has to be done is replace someone. I don't know who that is right away but I will soon. I got up and went out and asked Ron where are all the payroll records. He said they are in there. I said I could not find them. He said I am sorry they are not in the WISHA database because for some reason it will not work. Or I just don't know how to use it. If you show me how I will put all the records in that database. I said okay we'll do that later okay. But right now I need to see everyone that is working. He said I called everyone and everyone is here now and who would like to see first. You can sit down and be first. How many work here right now? Four people, one cook, and three on the desk and one on the disc also cooks when needed.
now as the cook your wife. He said no she is not my wife. Are you married? He said no I am not. I have offer for you. You can rent a room for a big discount and it will be taken out of your pay every week. That is if you would like to live here and you will have to clean your own room. Whoever the maid is will not clean it for you. The main reason we do that is because you will have everything you own in your room and we don't want anyone in your room unless it is you. That way no one can say someone took this or that. What do you think of that? He said that will work. I need some place cheaper than the place I am at now. So I guess this will work for you then. You can pick the room you want and just take it of the list to rent. Now we have four two-bedroom apartments on this floor and have they been keep clean and rentable? He said yes they are on the list to clean once a week even if no one has rented them. I know the cook has a family and who else does? She is the only one everyone else is single or has girl, boyfriend. I said, the only way they can live together is if they're married to get a two-bedroom. Otherwise they will only get a room upstairs. Okay then it will cost one quarter of your check. If you make 200 a week the rent for the week will be only 50.00 a week. He said that will work. The cost of the room will go by what you make a week. One quarter of your pay per week after taxes and taxes here are not much anyway. He said that will work. Okay, I would to see everyone else now, to tell everyone else. He went and got everyone and they all come out of the kitchen. They all sat down and I explained what I have in mind. Everyone wanted a room here. So that takes care of that. Now I have one more thing to say. In time we will be setting up a wish a newspaper office here and we will use one of the two bedroom apartments for the office. One of the bedrooms will be the office. So the one we hire will live in the apartment. But remember he is not your boss so don't let him or her try to tell you what to do. If something like that happens I want you to call the office or email us okay. Everyone shook their heads and that is it. I will send someone here in the next couple days or so to take care of everything. It is dinner time and dinner is on me. So order what you want and it is free tonight. I said just put the orders in one stack and I will sign them and put no charge on them so if anyone asks they will know what happened. Ron said okay that will work. Everyone ordered and it was not very long when they brought dinner out for everyone. We ate and when I got done I went up to my room and called Jane. I said everything went well and called Tom Sellers as the wish and trainer for all the wisha. Hence, when I can he will be here to train everyone and to get everything set up with the rooms. And you can help him update the computer with all the new information. Ron said that sounds good, some of you need to have more training on some things. The one we learned from was here three days and said okay I am out of here. When I got here the guy the first took over for was the only one working at that time and I hired everyone else to help. I guess that makes me the manager. I said yes it does. I think you've done a good job to keep everything running. If you need anything feel free to call me okay. Ron said I will. I said well it is time to go and watch TV until bedtime. I will be leaving on the morning space bus. He said okay thank you for everything. I got up and went upstairs and watched TV until I went to bed. I woke up to the phone ringing and it was Ron he said it is time to get up and get ready for the bus it will be here about a half hour. I said thanks for the call. I got up and got ready and just made it to the space bus stop and the bus landed. I got on and went straight to my room and went to the fridge to get something to eat in there. Was some good stuff in there and I ate pretty well. Just as I got done eating we landed and boy am I glad to be home. Story done by Jack Wisha